We did some grilling on the weekend. We're getting into that weather. So Rob Rainford's here. He is the author of Born to Grill and host of License to Grill on Food Network Canada. Good morning. Thank you for having me, guys. Great to have you here. So we're talking today about rubs, marinades, that sort of thing, how to prepare the meat before it hits the grill. Yes. All right. All right. Very important cut of meat. Very, very important to me and to three of you. <laughs> yes. That's yours. All right, good. thank you. That's yours. Don't sad worry about it. You that's, no, it's a, that's not sad. No, it's, it's beautiful. Not. It Zucchini it's and peppers and onions like there for you. Yeah. And, and I can even put that salsa verde on there Fabulous. for you as well. I got a ribeye steak here that I basically cubed up. Ready for the grill. I want to make sure I bring it to room temperature. Then I get it onto my grill. Big tip. Most people like to put you know, meat fr straight from the fridge onto the grill you need to bring it up to room temperature. Yeah, so again, if you can feel your lips and you go, that's the temperature I want my meat to be at before it hits the grill. Right. That way the internal temperature will be the exact same as the outside temperature. Even cooking will always take place at that point. Is this part of the Rainford method? This is, this is part of the method. Okay. What is the Rainford method? I, you know what I put, I teach at George Brown College, I work at a little restaurant called Gossip Downtown, and what I basically want to do is, is I want to tell people how to do things pragmatically, the right way. Uh, most people kind of jig things, don't jig it, just do it the right way. It's the methodology that will get you from A to Z, but really the right way. Okay. Bring meat up, to, meat up to proper temperature, cook it properly, that's great stuff. Now if you have a really good uh, quality meat, should you be seasoning it before you put it on the grill? You can season it with your herbs and your spices. Minus salt, yeah. That's which what I pulls to protein, you should not be seasoning like the day before with salt. Always do that the minute before you hit the grill, you season it with the salt, then get it on. It will crust in and it will allow you to get that beautiful flavor that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. But too many people put it on too far in advance and what they do is now the meat's dry. Why? Because it starts to sweat. If I put salt yeah. directly on this baby, by the end of the segment, you're going to start to see sure. water droplets come out of this. What so that's soy sauce, Rob? Soy sauce is also really salty, yeah. but again, it does not pull the protein. Right. It will add an extra flavor for okay. you. Okay, what about rubs and the rubs. marinades? I got the rub here. Dry rubs are great. What you can do is you can pack that onto the meat in advance. It sits there. It sears and you really nicely. You can pack it on, like you you're can, saying. You can you can basically sprinkle it on, okay. but liberally sprinkle it okay. on, okay? And then pat it in with your hands to make sure that it's all on. Because what will happen is if you just loosely put it on and put it onto the grill, it'll stick and come on. So you okay. can massage it in there if you, you want. Massage it in there. Yeah, and there's play little manners of these that you can buy prepackaged, but you can make your own rub. That but you're easy, supposed right? to. You're yeah, supposed yeah. to make your own. So what's a good basic rub? Basic onion, rubs: onion, onion powder, garlic powder. You know, a little bit of thyme, a little bit of rosemary. Those are my favorite herbs and spices, but again, cayenne can go in there, paprika can go in there. Yeah. You can play with it because most people want is flavor. And if you're missing this key ingredient, salt, then everything else doesn't taste as good. So always balance it out. I have done basically a lower sodium. I used to be a salt freak. Now I'm just starting to back off on it because I would like to stay in shape I here. I think that that's why food that I cook doesn't taste good, though, I swear. But no, food that I cook, and I'm salt. not even being self-deprecating, but it's, it's always like, <laughs> eh. But I, I really hold off on salt because I don't yeah. like things salty, but I think to the detriment of the food, you need it in On there the palate, that tongue will pick up salt. And then you know there's a division of labor with your tongue itself. You have sweet, you have salty, you have bitter. Yeah. But salt is the one, if it's missing, it seems to, the it's food just, it's a little lackluster. Mm -hmm. And if you add the salt, everything, wow, oh, it's so great. Yes. And if you're a smoker, you know that you've killed off a ton of the, uh, the layers of your tongue. So with salt, you have to salt it a little bit more for smokers. Right. So when you're skewering, what are you using? Because uh, often, I try and soak the skewers because I find if you don't do it, you then, then they burn. So you you're must. soaking your skewers? You must, two hours minimum. Are okay, bamboo? these are bamboo, yeah. but again, soak them for two hours. They're waterlogged, so by the time you get onto the grill and they're starting to dry out, everything's already cooked. What about cutting into the meat? Good. You're not really supposed to cut into it to see how oh, it's done. Oh, never! Right? So how do we know? I'm just. I'm oh, going to no. go into my Shaolin pose <laughs> right, here. Exactly. <laughs> you, you know what? Cutting into it is irrelevant. Feel it, touch it. Okay. Even put though a, it's on the grill. Put a thermometer put a in there. All right, I did this a little earlier. Oh, yeah, this right. is rare. Yeah, yeah. Put your index finger up, yeah. medium rare. Put the bad finger up, medium. If you're married like me, suffering, medium well. <laughs> and baby finger, feel how tight that is? Yeah. That's well done. So you've just got to move your fingers like you're playing a guitar, okay? So 
first f finger up. Yeah. See how that is? You're feeling rare. So rare meat. Yeah. We we'll have a lot of give. And it's perfect. But again, if you are more experienced, yeah. more seasoned, yeah. all those things can work for you. But if you don't want to do that, get yourself an, a, thermo a thermometer, yeah. poke it in. 125 degrees internal temperature is medium rare. Should because we food, it keeps cooking after you take it off the grill. It's going to go up one degree of doneness once you've taken it off the grill. So if you took it off at medium rare, by the time it's rested, yeah. it will be medium. And should we rest our meat before we eat Always it? Always rest your meat. When you take it off the grill, just allow the juices, as we like to call them here, <laughs> I'm looking at you, yeah, to redistribute. And then again, it's nice and tender. A lot of people like hot meat. So you get hot meat, you cut it. Yeah, that what stuff does that plate? What does that plate look like? Yeah. It's all bloody. And that's what people are a little, you know, Taken aback by. The flavor you don't need. Yes, but exactly. Why let the flavor go? Just allow it to relax. Now, what about smoking? Ooh, I love uh, smoking. Smoking is the next evolution when it comes to barbecuing you itself. You can do that slow if you've got the whole afternoon. Low and real slow. low. Low and slow. Low, right? But low even if slow. you don't, even if you don't want to do a low and slow product, you can now get a smoke pouch together and infuse the flavor and then grill fast. Yeah. All right. So yeah. if I wanted to smoke this up a little bit, I would smoke it for about 40 minutes with zero heat, so indirect heat. So we, have, we should talk about two different types of heat. Direct heat, high and fast. Indirect heat, low and slow. And just allow things to just let the smoke quaffed over into the meat and then sear it. And then you get that really good barbecue flavor that most of us are looking for. And it for. colors the meat too, right? Uh, well, it does start to get that ring on it if you leave it yeah, in there like long enough. will get that. Oh yes, the smoke ring. Yeah. You, can, you can see it on there. When you bite into your rib, Again, if it falls off the bone, you've done something wrong. Mm. If your teeth marks are right into it, then you know you've cooked it to perfection. It's an art. Oh, it is an art, but it's a wonderful art that you can do a cerveza, and you can go back to cooking, <laughs> and then you can go back to your cerveza. What else can you not That's love living, about that? Man. That's, That's real living. Perfect That's summer living. afternoon. Yeah. Tell me about these veggies for a minute. Do okay. those go on right at the, the end? Right at the end. So once we've done the stars of the show, <laughs> That's right. Then we put our co-star on, them. okay? Yeah. <laughs> you guys know the difference between the star and the co-star. <laughs> but again, I love people who are vegetarians because you know what? They're always going to come to your home. So you must have an option for them. And it can't be just a last minute, hey, uh, have a salad. Yeah. Grilled vegetables, zucchini, we have peppers, we have onions on there, two different types of peppers with the red and the yellow. You've got that caramelization that's happening, that beautiful flavor that you get from when you sear something really nicely. Yeah. And you can season that with a little salt, a little pepper, a yeah. little olive oil. You have to do that separately from the meat, right? Because they, they cook different. They cook, well, some people that's, like to put them together. Yeah, and they they yeah. never work. No. no. They never work. And I don't want to be that guy that tells you something that doesn't work, all right? So you can always string this together afterwards if you want to mix them up. Or just give a beautiful veg. Cut them equally. Yeah. And they will cook at the same pace. Beautiful. The show's called License to Grill on Food Network Canada. The book is Born to Grill. Rob Rainford, thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys by. for having me. Great talking to you. It's uh, 821. Back in just a minute.